each time you turn your ignition on and crank your car to start. There's a lot of things that happens which you really didn't take note of because you're just behind the steering. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking my time to explain this to you and it's very interesting. A simple trick. Welcome back. You're on the Dr. Cool Auto Fix channel. If you're coming here for the first time, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification. If you've done back, sit back, let's rock and roll. Each time you step into your vehicle and start up your car, if your car fails to start, then that is a bad luck. But if your car starts up good, then you are the lucky one. But you don't want to live your life based on luck, right? And that is why I want to teach you some few symptoms of a clogged air filter because when this air filter is clogged up, it creates a whole lot of mess and your locks run out. That's shocking, right? Uh, if your car doesn't start, there are a lot of things that can actually cause it, including a dirty or clogged air filter. So before we go into this very video here, I want to teach you about the air filter first. The air filter is actually in the filter. Every air that is going inside your combustion chamber, the engine needs the right quantity of air in mixture with the fuel, and that is what is called the air fuel ratios. So if there is any obstruction in any of the air, the air or the fuel, there's going to be imbalance and poor performance of the engine. So with that said, let me go ahead and give you the symptoms of a restricted air due to clogged air filter in your car. The first symptoms of a clogged air filter in your car is increased fuel consumption. An increased fuel consumption can stem from dozens of sensors and factors in your car. And a dirty air filter is one of those components that can actually create such mess and get you running back to gasoline station. And the good news there is it's cheap and easy to replace. And it's often found before the MAF airflow sensor, the mass airflow sensor in your car, also known as the MAF sensor. In a cheaper solution, you can also clean it up using a blow pressurized air or dust it off and hit it and the dust gets off. But sometimes that is not often the best thing because it's gonna create some perforation, which is gonna allow dirty dirt particles and debris to get into your engine, which will cause more problem to your spark plug and clog up your catalytic converters. The second symptoms of a clogged air filter in your car is engine vibration. When you start noticing your engine is vibrating erratically when you start up your engine at idle, there is every tendency that your engine is either being starved of fuel or supplied too much fuel or starved of air or supplied of too much air. Any of these four conditions are unacceptable. The right air quantity has to be supplied. The right fuel quantity has to be supplied. And when it comes to the right quantity of air being supplied, your throttle body or throttle pressure sensor ensures about that as much as your fuel, your air filter. So when next your engine is vibrating, go ahead and clean up your air filter and put it back and you should be on your way solving that problem. Third symptoms of a clogged air filter is a rough shifting in your transmission system. Most of you who deal with the transmission issues or who have transmission issues are gonna be thinking it's all about the solenoid, transmission fluid, and uh, valve body. But unfortunately, that is not the case here because your transmission system is also connected to some other components, sensitive components that are intended to ensure the smooth operation of your engine and the drivetrain. So when your engine gets out of air, it starts jerking and that jerking alters the operation of the throttle position sensor or the throttle body and this affects the smooth shifting of your transmission system. Number four symptoms of a clogged air filter in your car is black smoke gopping out of your tailpipe. The black smoke gopping out of your tailpipe is a simple term used to qualify too much fuel consumption because the fuel that gets injected inside the fuel chamber right there is not completely burned and as a result the rest of unburned fuel turned into a black smoke that you're seeing at your tailpipe. So when you start seeing that there are a lot of other companies that can actually cause it but a common one that actually causes it is a restricted fuel due to a clogged fuel injector so go ahead and replace it or blow it off and put it back and you should be on your way resolving the black smoke going out of your tailpipe. Number five symptoms of a clogged air filter is the smell of gasoline. The smell of gasoline can stem from different problems, factors in your car, such as a, a bad air filter, a bad coolant temperature sensor. Now, a clogged air filter is the simplest of all because this is something which you can be able to dust off and put it back in. Or you, even if you decide that you want to replace it, it's inexpensive 
compared to some other parts which you have in your car. And as soon as you do that, the smell of gasoline should be able to go away, except there is other factors or a component that is causing it. The sixth symptoms of a clogged air filter is engine backfire. Engine backfire is where the air fuel mixture is combust outside the combustion chamber. The combustion chamber is the home of the combustion where the air fuel mixtures get met and ignited by the spark plug and ignition coil. But for any reason, if there is unburnt fuel that is not well ignited inside the combustion chamber, they get ignited outside the combustion chamber by the hot exhaust pipe and that is where it results into a loud bang. So this is actually caused due to increased fuel being injected using fuel to compromise the loss of air that is going inside your engine by the ECM. So when there is a restriction in air, you try to use fuel to balance the equation and this results into dumping excessive fuel which the unburnt one made their way into the hot exhaust and got ignited and that's the result in the loud bang which you know as engine backfire. Seven symptoms of a clog air filter is a poor throttle response. When you step on your gas pedal, which is the throttle pedal uh, position sensor of your car, you should have a snap response. Your car should respond actively, but when you start noticing a hesitation or some sort of, you know, a sluggish acceleration, then there is every tendency that you are not getting either adequate fuel, adequate power, or adequate air. And when it comes to inadequate air, the restricted air due to a clogged air filter is responsible, it's mostly responsible, mostly corporate that is causing those problems. So go ahead and check it. If it is too dirty, dusty, especially if you are living in a dusty environment, you're going to be often need to check this very air filter. A lot of motor owners, car owners and drivers do not actually know that such maintenance actually exists. So preferably each time you're going to service or replace your motor oil, the air filter should be inspected. If it is not replaced, it should be dusted off. Number eight symptoms of a clogged air filter is a rough idle. Rough idle is the engine uses to tell you that there is a problem with the air fuel ratios or the air fuel ratio components such as coolant temperature sensor, mass airflow sensor, integrated temperature sensor, idle air control valve, and a whole lot of them. And when the air filter gets clogged, it restricts the air going inside, like choking your engine from getting oxygen to breathe. And that is why it's that seen that rough idle there is more like a sign of choking up your engine. So go ahead and change the air filter or blow it off using a pressurized air and you should be on your way resolving a rough idle in your car. Number nine symptoms of a clogged air filter is a check engine light. This check engine light is actually not sparked by the blocked air or clogged air filter but it started the chain reaction that leads to a check engine light such as increased too much fuel consumption which is going to make the engine power to be reduced or also cause a multiple cylinder misfire due to too much fuel being injected inside the combustion chamber and that is quickly going to be picked up by the O2 sensor in your car that the car is running rich and when it picks it up you have a check engine light right there so when you find those kind of problems rich mixture it doesn't mean that the O2 sensor is bad it's just that the O2 sensor is reporting that the car is taking too much fuel than necessary and that is why having a functional O2 sensor in your car is very important and very, very imperative to track in how smooth, how efficient your car engine is running with the gasoline that has been injected inside it. Number 10 symptoms of a clogged air filter is the car jacks intermittently while driving. When the car jacks intermittently while driving, it could be stemming from different kinds of component factors, but a clogged air filter is one of them. So it's easy to check, it's easy to replace, even as a, a newbie, even as a car enthusiast or DIY, be my guest, it's very simple. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you where the air filter is. For you car owners, you can actually do this very simple repair and save yourself thousands of dollars in repair. So any jacking upon acceleration could mean insufficient fuel, insufficient air, insufficient power, right? So. A simple looking at some of this very simple trick which I teach you in my YouTube channel it will be able to help you to do that by yourself. Number 11 symptoms of a clogged air filter in your car is decreased engine performance. The engine criterias, materials that it need in order to combust, uh, to create a combustion or explosion when the air and fuel is ignited in a test stroke of your engine is needing air as one of the major material when you talk about 14.7 part of air to one part of fuel you should know that the air volume is very much more than the fuel and that is why when you flip your 
your top cylinder head, you often discover that the intake valves are much more larger than the exhaust valve. That is because your car needs much of air than it needs to waste, I mean, that it needed uh, to create the combustion. So the volume of air it needs to create the combustion is much more bigger than the emission that it ejects out of the system. So when there is a lack of air, even despite the fact that the ECM is going to be trying very much hard to compromise for that, you know, to compensate for that, sorry, compensate for that, still there's going to be engine underperformance. It's more like when you light up your gas stove and you decide to shut off the oxygen, you know, light, light up a matchstick. If there is no insufficient air or oxygen to mix with it, you're going to be seeing a whole lot of black smoke coming out, soot coming out there. But if there is a quantity of it, it's going to go well. Also, like when you're using your oxygen tank and uh, using methane or using carbide to weld anything, if there is insufficient oxygen present there, go on, take a look at the activity that's going to happen right there. So a lot of you guys who are aware who are watching this video, who owns a car knows exactly what I'm talking about. The right oxygen has to be there. In most cases, when the oxygen is small and just at the right quantity, you're going to see how powerful the, the, the flame is going to be caught in or using to work, uh, to fix whatever thing you want to do, to perform whichever service you want to perform. So let me go ahead and show you the air filter. And that should be the close of the clogged air filter symptoms in this very episode. So pull out this latch. Up in the sky. And it should be at the right side while you're facing the engine. So if it is a car that have mass airflow sensor, it should be here in this very box right here. So when you open it, you should be able to get it replaced this one here is held by four screws some of them are not even held by screws some of them are held by tabs like the one you find in toyota models and hyundai so guys now that you know the top symptoms common symptoms of a clogged air filter give this video a thumbs up to have it run better and share with some other guys which you know are having this problem i remain dr quarter fix bye for now i'll see you later don't forget to subscribe to my channel cheerios